I don't know. I'm not scared of dying, Tony. I'm scared of not living, you know? That's, that's it. That's why I can't commit to anything, because I'm afraid I'll wake up one day and, like, it's all over, you know? And I didn't do it. So what do you do? I think you try to live with intention. And you try to listen to your gut about what's who you are and what's not. And you don't get seduced by money or contentment. And I think you know that more than anyone. Born to be mesmerized Raised to be purified by lingering sunny days In a perfect storm of yesterdays With sights set on bigger things Despite the broken wings With every new flood of sound I am safe back on holy ground All right. Well, let's just get to the bottom line of this. Yeah, good. Uh, like, part of what part of what I'm doing is I'm trying to create at the end of this journey, and I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know where I'm going, and I don't know what I'm doing. Sounds like life. I don't have enough money to do it. Do you think it's a good idea? Only you. I mean, knowing you, and I don't know, you know, like we have a long history, so we're, you know, we're close because of all the breadth of experiences over this perceived linear time that we've experienced together. Um, I would say you're gonna, fuck, your mind is gonna be blown. You know, you got, I just say consistently be open and consistently challenge yourself every day and just remember you don't know anything. to uh, impress the youth of America with your knowledge of stuff. No, no, I don't see it. All right, you see it. people about this trip I'm on and uh, you know do you think it's a good idea I don't even know what I'm doing anymore but I think it's a good idea yeah 
I mean, it's kind of cool. Once you put all this stuff together, you're gonna be like, oh wait, that was actually a great time. Why was I so miserable the whole time? <laughs> wow, that was actually really amazing. Why was I, <laughs> why did I want to cry the whole time? <laughs> it's a lot like my life. <laughs> Most of my relationships, too. <laughs> oh, wow, that was actually really beautiful and special. <laughs> that girl was but... <laughs> great. Why did I want to kill her? <laughs> Washington Square. There's a, there's a tune by the Counting Crows about Washington Square. I know, I love that song. I'm traveling homeward. And then get me and pan up as I look up at the light. Ready? Okay. Ready? Oh, that's pretty. <gasps> Beautiful. <laughs> now that's how you make a film. <laughs> of every flame The ones they will never take The treasures they'll never find And the beauty that's left behind And the words that we should have said And the lives that we could have lived Mistakes that we would have changed in the places we never stayed home. I think um, what I learned from this trip more than anything was that this is just the beginning of a much larger journey. And I spent 60 days driving around, 9,000 miles, wrote a dozen songs, played a few gigs, watched a lot of music, did my best to connect with friends and strangers and, and learn and just capture as much of it as possible in words and in video and music. One thing I learned probably more than anything on this trip is that to me home is not any one place it is a feeling I get when I'm inspired and hopeful and grateful for this life when I'm with someone or when I'm somewhere and I have that feeling and I know I'm not alone